What's up, Pokemon Pit Beta? This is John here today from Toxic Spikes, and I am bringing you a 5th gen battle here against Burning Woods with some random numbers after his name, which I forgot, but the link to his channel will be in the description probably. So anyways, um, we had a standard 5th gen match here. Uh, I'm going to lead off with a Celebi, and he leads off with a Swampert. This is actually kind of an original Celebi. It's an Okaberry one, and uh, not too original. That's a very original Swampert, however, with um, Hidden Power Fire, which I thought was kind of weird. But anyways, I set up my rocks, and then I predict him to switch into his Blaziken, because I saw his team before the match, because that's how 5th gen works. And uh, so I'm just going to go for the U-turn, go out to my Quagsire. And the awesome thing about Quagsire is he has this new ability called Unaware, so he's not aware of any stats boost. So just in case he decided to Swords Dance, um, it wouldn't have mattered. So then I'm just, he's going to go for the high jump kick, probably knowing I have Unaware, and I'm just going to go straight away for the Earthquake, which is going to finish him off, seeing that um, Blaziken may have amazing attack, but his defense is awful. So um, anyways, now I'm going to go out to my Tyranitar, and this is actually a Lure Tyranitar, but it li it's really good at bluffing the Choice Band. Um, it's actually an expert belt, though. So, I know I'm not going to be able to one-hit KO his Rancorusu, barring any crits, but I know I'll two-hit KO it, and I'm just hoping that if he has Focus Blast, it, miss, it misses. Um, he gets a defensive drop, too. Not sure how much that mattered. Um, probably didn't matter at all, but he actually carries the Hidden Power Fighting, and that, um, because he doesn't like to miss, but that's going to end up uh, hurting him here, because Tyranitar's special defense gets boosted 1.5 times in the sand. So he's going to be able to live it, and I'm going to be able to pursue him, so no matter what he does, his, um, his Reuniclus is done for. Now he's going to go out to his Conkledur, or Robishin, um, depending on which, whether you not use the English or Japanese names. And I go out to my Quagsire, just in case he wants to bulk up, but unfortunately he goes for the Mach Punch, and two Mach Punches are going to be able to take out my Quagsire, so Quagsire goes down, but he did his job this battle. So now he's getting hurt by the, sand the Sandstorm and Life Orb damage. He's going down fast, and right here I bring in my Celebi just to kind of fake him out and hope he switches. And then he goes into his Zapdos, and I was hoping he wouldn't go into his Zapdos, but he does, so I just go for the Leaf Storm. And I was hoping he would probably go into Swamp right there, predicting the U-turn, but whatever. Think, looking back now, that was kind of a bad play on my part. Even though, between the Stealth Rocks, the Sandstorm, and Leaf Storm, he actually went down by a lot on health. Now I go out to my Rotom Heat Form, as he roosts, but Rotom in this generation has the Fire Electric typing. So he's actually a very efficient Zapdos counter, as he takes... Um, doesn't he takes half damage from Thunderbolt, half damage from Heat Wave, and half damage from either Hidden Power, Ice, or Grass. So he's just going to Thunderbolt being his best option here, but it really doesn't do too much, and I'm going to be able to Will-O-Wisp him back, which may not seem like a too smart of a play, seeing that um, Zapdos is a special attacker, but in the long run, you'll see that between the Sandstorm and the Burn, it's really going to wear him down and matter later on. So um, right now I predict him to switch, and... Uh, I believe I go for the um, pain split. Yeah, I do. And he goes into his Hydreigon, so I'm going to get his Hydreigon down in health. Now, I'm thinking that he's going to go for the Draco Meteor here, because a lot of times you either see a Scarf or a Spec set on Hydreigon. So I switch out to my Roserod, who's my special wall. Because um, people actually often forget that Roserod has um, excellent special defense, but unfortunately, he's going to go for the Dragon Pulse which, after Sandstorm damage, looks like I only, I'm only i only going to be able to get one free move off. So what I was hoping to do here was live a Dragon Pulse, um, Stun Spore him, and then get up a layer of spikes, but I miss the Stun Spore, so Roserod literally gets to do nothing this entire battle. But that's okay, because if, um, if you've seen any of my other battles, you'll know that Roserod um, usually carries its weight. Um, so he's taken a lot from the Sandstorm and such, and now I go out to Amistar, and he normally does not have good special defense, but because of the Sandstorm and him being a rock type, he's going to have that special defense boost. He takes a Dragon Pulse, it's not even a two-hit KO, and he's going to be able to KO back with an Ice Beam, because Amistar has amazing special attack. He's going to go out to his Conkledur now, I know I can live a Mach Punch, so I'm just going to go right away for the Surf, and... um Honestly, I thought I'd be faster than Robishin, not during the Mach Punch, but you'll see next turn. But um, apparently Amistar is just that slow. Um, but it doesn't matter because he's still cool. I was thinking about putting Shell Break on this Amistar, but it's more of a defensive variant. I find those still to be more effective because the Shell Break, Shell Break is um, very risky to run on anything other than stuff like Cloyster or um, you know Huntail or Gorbis because on Amistar it's just, it's just a risky move. But anyways. Um, I go out to my Celebi now, knowing that he can't hurt me at all, and he's just going to kill himself off. Just in case he wanted to switch out, I went for the Earth Power, but 
he stays in. So now he's going to go out to his Zapdos, and um, I'm going to predict, since I know he's a bulky variant now, that I can just U-turn out and I'll be faster and not have to worry about the Heat Wave. And I go into my Rotom here expecting the Heat Wave, but he actually goes for Hidden Power, which I'm guessing was Ice, and it's not very effective, so that's good for me. And he's going to take sand Sandstorm and Burn Damage now. And um, because of the rocks and the sandstorm and the burn, he's really just getting slammed on the switches here with the Zapdos. So that's really the position I kind of want him to be in right now. He's going to go back out to his Swampert, predicting the Thunderbolt, though, which really stinks for me. And honestly, I cannot touch this Swampert. Um, that is the one advantage that Rotom Grass form has over the other forms, is that he can hit Swampert and Quagsire and the likes. Um, but Rot other Rotom forms can't, because Thunderbolt doesn't affect him, and neither does Overheat, but... Um, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp here, I believe, but I miss, and I was going to be able to Will-O-Wisp, then Pain Split, then, you know, stuff doesn't always, doesn't always work out. Go for the Pain Split here and actually lose health, and he predicts me to go into, um, or to go for the Pain Split, so that was a good prediction on his part, and now I think his Zapdos just dies off to the burn, so that's not too bad for me, but now he's going to be able to finish me off with his Swampert, so... Um, I get a Will-O-Wisp off first, though. I could have gone for the Pain Split there, but he actually goes for the Stealth Rocks, because he figures at this point he needs to beat, I think, my entire team with his Swampert, and if he's going to do that, he's definitely going to need Rocks on the field. So I'm just going to go for the Pain Split here to bring him down really low on health, and um, that'll just make it that much easier. Um, he's going to go for the Boiling Water and that's going to kill me off. Now, I know that Selby can one-shot him with um, a Leaf Storm, even if he's at full health, but the reason that I wanted to get him down so low before I brought Selby in is because there is a 10% chance that Leaf Storm can miss. So just in case um, I missed and then Hidden Power Fire took me out, I would be able to bring in something else to handle him. So his Swampert's going to go down, and that's going to be good game.